up here, Beat Culture. This is the new Polyscape by Karangi Sounds. They sent this to me. They say, hey, uh, well, can you do a review? I said, of course. Why not? So what better way to explain this plugin than to put it through a real world beat making situation? Because that's what you're going to be doing with this thing. This here, if I had to give a brief review, like my thoughts real quick before we dive in, I feel like this is dope. This is more of an atmosphere type situation here. If you're doing orchestral music or needing like the extra sauce on top of stuff that you're already doing, or you can use this totally standalone because it's, it's very interesting. There's some very interesting stuff going on in this thing. So this is very unique. This is by far, aside from all of the other synths that you will use, this is very unique. All right. So real quick, I'm going to be real brief. I'm not going to break this thing down because at the end of the day, who cares? We all grab stuff as long as it sounds good. That's, that's most times what people are into. What does this thing sound like? I'm glad you asked. So there's obviously four different sections in here or four different modelers or modulation. It's kind of what I like to call this because all of this is just mod, mod, modulation, modeler, something going on inside these deals. Four different engines, actually five, if you can't, if you count the base that comes with some of these. I'm going to go to a, I think this one is the one I want to play with because I don't want to mess up anything. If we go to the presets, we have two different libraries. We have the core library, we have the sound design library. In the core, we have the some keys, some leads, some soundscapes, some extra bass. So real quick, if I can play something. Ooh. But as you can see, there's kind of a theme here. It kind of has like this 90s sound to it. I am not a keyboard player. I'm just, you know. Okay. I'm not going through all the sounds. That's not me. That's, that's not what I do on this channel. I'm just showing you guys a few things. Give you a concept. As you can hear, this thing is very atmospheric, heavy, very heavy. This this section down at the bottom is like your mixer with a couple of things that they peeled away. You know, you got to pay attention to what you, what you grab for too, because you could be on C, you could be on B, you could be on A because they all look the same. So here's D. And here's the volume down here as well for D. Right? So there's four different sections, A, B, C, D, and you can obviously morph between A, B, and then C, D. That is unique. I don't think I've ever seen a morph like that. Actually, yeah, but it's not called morph. It's actually a mix button between a and b you know same deal but that's cool though more between four different sounds so to speak so here's your device effects you have your delay right here all of your functions here you can change from one fourth to 
all the way up to look like 64 triplet. Okay. And you got, you know, you can change it from stereo to mono, obviously. Then how much of it, your feedback. And then right here you have your color. I think that's what this is going, what's going on here. And then your density for your texture. Your texture going on here. And then your reverb. Cool. And then your master section. This is what glues it together. Um, I've used this filter deal to add more of, of me in one of the instruments that I was using. So, so to change real quick, you can obviously hit these two circles here on the side, up, down. Huh. You know what? Sounds really cool. So this is a polyscape. That's a polyscape. That's a polyscape. That's a polyscape. So I got Polyscape in here 15 times. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, I could do a long video, but I'm not. This is real quick. This is real simple. If this is something that you dig, then, of course, the link is in the description of this video. And that's Polyscape Nova, guys. I'm Ella. Beat culture. Remember, lifestyle governed by art. <laughs>